one of the wildest and most exhilarating wildlife experiences I've ever had is swimming with the sailfish. Sailfish is the fastest fish in the world, can swim with a speed of 110 kilometers per hour and can grow up to 3 meters and 90 kilos in weight. From January to March, they aggregate about an hour, hour and a half offshore from Cancun looking for bait balls of sardines and there is a chance to swim with these fish. This encounter is really one of the most adrenaline-packed, wild, incredible, unbelievable events in the world. I would like to invite you, of course with the help of the videos, to imagine being in my place on one of the best sailfish tour ever about five years ago. Imagine that you wake up very early and around 6 o'clock in the morning you're already on the boat which is heading out of Cancun. After about one and a half hours of navigation, you arrive to the area where there is a chance to see something. You step on the side of the boat, grab the roof and while you're hanging out, you're starting to scan the horizon and looking for birds. You're looking for groups of magnificent frigate birds with a specific behavior, scanning the surface of the water, circling and eventually targeting the surface of the water, looking for sardines and looking for bait ball. Minutes pass, then hours pass, going around zigzagging with the boat and scanning the surface when you spot birds with suspicious behavior. They seem to be really close to the surface, circling, and eventually you see one and then another one attacking the surface of the water. The captain, max speed, tries to head towards the direction of the birds. It's pretty choppy, so it's a bumpy ride. While you're heading there, jumping up and down, you start to put on your fins, start to clean your mask, and already sit on the edge of the boat. It's only you, the customers are still behind. You need to go and check what's happening first. You are maybe 10, 15 meters from where the birds are hitting the surface. The boat slows down. You don't even wait until the boat completely stops and the captain tells you you can go. So you jump in the water and then you look down looking for action. But what you spot first is just the sign of the action. Little shiny particles floating all around you. You already know that this is the scales which are remaining from the sardines. You lift up your head from the water, look where the birds are, and start to swim that direction with everything you got. Then you spot your first sailfish. Then you spot another one. Then you spot 10. You are surrounded by 20, 30, 50 sailfish. They are swimming around fast, just darting towards the bait ball, open their sails, change their colors from silver to striped to almost completely black to confuse their prey. It's just an amazing, incredible, wild sight. At this point, you're signaling to the boat that the customers can jump in, that you have the bait ball, you have the sailfish. When everybody jumps in, you start to hear dolphins. Then you get a little bit worried because dolphins usually mean the action is over. Dolphins are so effective that as soon as dolphins arrive, all the sailfish in seconds disappear and the pot of dolphins destroy the bait ball in maybe one minute and then you're left with nothing. But this day, like maybe five years ago, is just different. You hear the dolphin sound stronger and stronger and eventually a whole pot of dolphin appears but the sailfish decides to stay and the dolphins do not destroy the bait ball in seconds but also starts to circle and eventually pick up some sardines then come back a little bit similar to the behavior of the sailfish suddenly you realize that something which you never even heard about is happening sailfish and atlantic spotted dolphins are feeding together on a bait ball of sardines it's just an incredible event and you get to stay there maybe 15 20 minutes the visibility is not perfect but you could not care less it is like in a war movie everything is happening so fast everything is just aggressive sailfish are snapping away sardines maybe a feet away from your mask you can hear how they're grabbing the fish dolphins are coming in and out of the picture you can hear their noises all over the place meanwhile the water is choppy you're getting water in your snorkel it's just exciting it's crazy so much adrenaline so wild so beautiful i got transported back to this one experience and actually i I did get a little bit excited. So yeah, this would be the story of my very best sailfish encounter when dolphins and sailfish were hunting together. Sailfish is one of the favorite and most famous game fish in the world. 
in the same area where we are swimming with sailfish, there are many, many boats out there with groups of fishermen trying to catch sailfish. And they usually manage to catch sailfish because of the bait balls, it's relatively easy to find them. Obviously, I really think fishing sailfish just to mount them on your wall is a really awful activity. People think that catch and release has no negative effect at all, but I've seen so many sailfish with cut sails and these sails are needed for this fish. They open the sails while they are hunting to confuse their prey. So I believe losing the sail might be a big disadvantage for those specimens which were caught then released, but with a caught sail. Honestly, I think anyone who would like to see sailfish should just practice enough to be comfortable in open water, swim hard and see them underwater in wild as they should be.